So what are some of the things that we need to do and look out for, particularly with adolescents, that are, are in a very vulnerable state? Social media makes them insane and crazy because they're constantly online trying to see yes. what's, what's going on. But just tell us what's, what's going on now with the, what we'll call the young people. Yeah. Bullying is big. Okay. So being aware of that and, and parents being involved with their children and knowing what they're doing, what, what they're watching yeah. in terms of social media and everything. And <clears throat> listen to them, spend yes. time with them. Listen to what they're saying. If they're expressing feelings of hopelessness, if you've, again, seen changes, uh, extreme mood swings, changes in their behavior, and, and ask, are you thinking about, it? particularly if they say things like, I just, I just want to give up, or I just, I just want to kill myself. Are you thinking about harming yourself? I'm concerned about you. I want to help you. Mm -hmm. Because when, when someone is thinking about suicide, they're in a lot of pain, and they want the pain to end. But there are a lot of ambivalent feelings about that. Yeah. And so <coughs> I've heard it expressed uh, that sometimes people want the pain to stop mm -hmm. and they want to, you know, find an end to the situation that they're in. Uh, and unfortunately, they make a temporary decision permanent. Exactly. Right. And, you know, when that happens. So let's talk a little bit, though, about the summit. The, the, it's called the Color in Hope this year. Yes. And so can you explain to the viewers what the colors mean? You know, we're, I'm wearing a purple ribbon. You're wearing a purple ribbon. Dr. Wearing Clark's blue. wearing a blue ribbon yes. here tonight. Uh, what, what are some of the colors in the, um, in the field of suicide awareness and, and also counseling? There, there are nine different colors. Um, the purple one that I'm wearing, that means that I have lost a friend and a relative to suicide. Um, Dr. Clark is a support supporter of suicide prevention. And so each color, there's one for loss of a child, loss of a spouse, loss of a parent, <coughs> uh, loss of a friend or relative, loss of a sibling. And then if you're, if you're supporting someone mm -hmm. who has suicidal ideation or struggling with that, there's a color for that as well. Yeah. And we will have those available at the conference as well for yeah. everyone. So when we say, you know, colored in hope, mm -hmm. we just talked about folks from early in life to late in life. That's right. You know, yes. this is not yeah. something that, and, and a lot of people, and, and I'm sitting here talking, you know, about just young people, but also it is elderly people. We call it this, you know, the silver, uh, the, you know, the silver thread or the silver lining. We, we see it, you know, with, with those that are over 60, over 70, that, um, you know, unfortunately feel like the best way out is to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. Men over 65 have a vi very high rate of suicide. And tied with that is, is loss, um, retirement, loss of a spouse, not feeling like they have a purpose mm -hmm. in life. And so that's it. They many times will, will attempt. Yeah. There, there was a high profile suicide today. Uh, I don't know if you saw it in the papers, uh, but it was um, a Bed Bath & Beyond executive. Yes. And for those of you who follow stocks and bonds and trading and everything else, this, this guy did some insider trading uh, of the stock. The stock went way up. Then he sold overnight, and the stock went way down, and he's being investigated by a lot of folks. So when you, when you say loss of purpose and loss of hope, odds are he was going to lose his job, maybe lose his freedom, maybe lose his money, maybe lose the, you know, the nice fancy apartment and everything else, and you know, he made a permanent decision then. Mm -hmm. and, and loss can be a big, and, and all it's the losses case. that you just talked about. Right. And that's for, for anyone, whether they're an older adult or adolescent adult child. Uh, change, loss, uh, anything like that can can be a risk factor. Yep. Folks, we're taking on a very heavy subject tonight, but as we're discussing it here, if you'd like to call in, it's 850-392-1544. You don't have to use your name. You can use a pseudonym or, you know, remain anonymous. Or if you don't even want to call in, you can email us at lawcall at wmbb.com. That's lawcall at wmbb.com. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit, you know, because we talk about you know, I don't know what the signs are. I don't know what to look for. I don't know what to do. And if you do find it, where do I go? That's kind of the next step. Yes. And I got to tell you, this is, like I said, I think our fourth or fifth um, suicide prevention summit that we've done. And this very one puts together the local resources. Yes, it can, does. Can you talk with us a little bit, um, Denise, about the local resources that are going to be there and to be present and give everybody an option to say, all right, well, 
I have this issue, I need to go see this resource. Yes, go we are going to have, we're going to show a video called You're Not Alone, and it's, it's focused on children, adolescents, who have struggled with mental health issues and thoughts of suicide. Following that, we're gonna have a resource panel, <clears throat> and it will include Angel House Bereavement Center, yes. Life Management, the Mobile Response Team, uh, will include several there. Um, and many of them will have tables and brochures so people can pick those up. But we wanna make sure that people know what are the local resources. I believe Emerald Coast Behavior will be there. Yes, uh, Bay so, Center, Journey, Journey yeah, Pure, Journey Pure. Mm -hmm. Bay, uh, Bay County Schools. Yes, Bay County Schools. Life Management. Yes, yeah. all, all of them will be there to, to help people know what what do I do, where do I go yeah. if I need help? And Dr. Clark, you've got a couple others. Let's go ahead and go through those yeah, real fast. The, the mm -hmm. uh, Mobile Response Team, Life Management Center, Emerald Coast, Behavioral Hospital, Bay County Schools, the LBGQ Center of Bay County, Vet Center, Journey Pure, Angel House Bereavement Center. Wow, so look there, you've got nine different, I think I counted nine different resources, local resources that are gonna be present. And when we say local, we're not just talking about just Bay County folks. If you're outside of Bay County, that's fine, come on to this. Yes. Uh, there, there, there's no restrictions. Nobody's gonna check your driver's license and say, oh yeah, you can't come in, you're outside of Bay County. Uh, this is going to be an opportunity for you to be there. You may have a, uh, a loved one. You may have a husband or a wife that you are dealing with and you, you know, you, there are gonna be resources there. You may have a middle schooler or a junior high or a high schooler that you're dealing with. You may have a 20 something year old. You may have a 50 something year old, 60 something year old. This particular seminar, like I said, it is the best one you know, by far that I, I can say that have been put together. There've been some remarkable yes, seminars. I mean, now I'm not putting them down, but this one has all of the local resources there. It might be a veteran. I mean, yes. it, you know, we talk about this, it's always on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, 22 veterans a day commit suicide and, and that seems to be the national average and everybody's kind of like, well, that's the norm. That's kind of, a, that's not normal. You know, it's, that's, not. it's not. And if we could save one person, yes. it's worth the effort. It's the, world, it's the world of that one person. That's right, correct. Yeah, so that's what we want to do.